Welcome back to the Fighter Share Report. Yes, this is, hey, I, we're not going to start off with the one I want to. Okay. We're going to do it like he brought up a good point. So we're going to start off with? Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia. I know we're a little late. We're a few weeks late. That's but, okay. you know. But this recap is going to be worth it. And we put our own twist on it, so it really yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. So, all right, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia. Now, my original thought was it was Keith Thurman versus nobody. <laughs> but... Danny Garcia really showed me something. Yeah, he's definitely a somebody. He he is a somebody. He is. I'm sorry, Danny. I'm sorry. I'll buy you a bagel next time I'm in Brooklyn. Um, well, he's in Philly, though. Philly, Philly guy. Got That's right. He's, he's a cheesesteak guy. Yeah. I'll buy you a cheesesteak, my friend. So, uh, he did. He showed me something. Yeah. He, you said he had a lot more to him. Right. I thought he was just like, you know, the media darling and the judge's favorite. Right. But I really didn't think if Keith let it go to a, a decision, he was going to walk away with that title. Neither did I. And I think that's surprised. But I think Keith jumped out so quick. And those first five to six rounds were so decisive in favor of Keith Thurman that it was hard to sway the fight any other way. Even when Danny had his moments in the later rounds, some of those rounds Keith was able to kind of steal because he would turn on the last 15, 10 seconds uh, of the round and, and, and th th throw a flurry, maybe land some punches here or there. Mm -hmm. um, when he was pushing the pace, Danny really didn't have an answer for him. No, I mean, he, he was thoroughly outboxed. I had the fight scored – Nine rounds to three, eight rounds to four being generous. Right. Um, but Danny showed a granite chin, and he showed some resolve. He wasn't going to quit. He wasn't going nowhere. You had to knock the kid out right. for him to lose that fight. Right. But uh, before the fight started, like you said, I didn't think Thurman would get the benefit of the doubt if it went to the cards. Mm -hmm. But it did. But he, like I say, he jumped out on him so quick and so fast. I mean, it just it was hard to take it away from him. Now, here's an interesting perspective. Because I saw it on TV, but you were there. You were at the Barclays Center. You right. were at the, the junior mecca of boxing in right, New York. Right. Because we talked about earlier whether it was the Mecca now. Right. And nah. we, right. We're going to get into it after. On the, yeah. the, 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 but this is the junior Mecca now. Okay. What was it like being in the Barclay for this this size fight? It was unreal. I mean, I've been to a few sporting events in my day. Uh, but a fight in New York City, a good fight like that, the crowd was electric. It was it was everything that it's cracked up to be. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The Barclays is a first class venue, state of the art. Okay. Um, and the fans are the best in the world. I mean, they really get behind their fighters. I mean, you had Philly in the house. You had New York in the house, sprinkling a little bit of Florida, like Salt Bay, sprinkling a little bit of Florida. And, I mean, you know, it worked out all right. It was, but it was a great experience, man. I can't wait to go back. But you and I talked off camera about, because you went to the Canelo fight yes. in Texas Stadium in right. Jerry's World. Right. And you talked about that was an experience. It was almost yeah. like a Mardi Gras thing. Yeah. That was just, I, that was a big fight. It didn't have the electricity that the Thurman Garcia fight had in the Barclays, okay. but it was a big fight. It was at Jerry's World, the eighth wonder of the world, I guess. Uh, tremendous arena. I mean, if you if you can make it out there, you got to go see it, man. Yeah. That's got I me mean, next to uh, uh, the plaza where JFK was killed. You got to go to Jerry's World. I mean, it's that big of an attraction. Well, now, a friend of mine just came back. He took a tour of the stadium. Mm -hmm. Do you know the electric bill alone is $700 an hour just for the screens? Jerry just for it. the screens. Jerry got that check, man. Man, look. So, all right. So, we're going to move into we, – we saw that fight. Right. Our predictions were right. right. I mean, we, we, he didn't knock him out, but he got the decision. Okay. Um, now, we're moving to the robbery in the garden. Triple good, good, good gift. Wow. Versus Danny yeah. Jacobs. Yes, I said it. Okay. Triple good, good, good gift. So, now that is still the mecca. When I saw that right. crowd right. and how electric it was right. and the ambiance and just – being in the garden itself. Yeah, I mean, all they was missing was the minks. That was it. You know what I'm saying? A little uh, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier action going it. on there, man. You know, yeah, that's, that's Sugar was, Ray man. Leonard. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, but it was, I. to wrap it up from my point of view, Danny Jacobs won the fight by at least three rounds. By at least three rounds. Now, people say to beat the champ, you got to knock the champ out. We've proven that that's not the case in um, over the years. Right. So, what gives? I mean, I, I, I thought Jacobs won the fight as well, but I could see uh, Triple G winning the fight. I wasn't mad with the decision. I thought that uh, Triple G definitely landed the harder punches, the more clearer punches. But I thought Danny, Danny Jacobs' ring generalship, I thought he boxed around Triple G very well. But that knockdown, anytime you have a knockdown in a close fight, you're almost going to got to go with the guy that delivered the knockdown. I mean, he knocked him down in the what, fourth round. When That's, I really look back at that, 
It wasn't as clear of a knockdown. Oh, yeah, it was. Like. Yeah, no, that was a was. throw knockdown. Danny throw Jacobs knockdown. even said it was a throw knockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, he said the guy didn't punch as hard he, right. as he heard his power was a myth, but that was a straight knockdown. Nah, I, I know you knockdown. can't see that well, but I you couldn't have missed that. Right of this, bro. But I give you the knockdown. All right. So, you know, it was a close fight. If it was if it was six rounds, six apiece, six rounds apiece, and a one point it. goes to triple G. I don't get six rounds apiece. I, I'm looking at the fight. I don't get six rounds apiece. Well, he lost the fourth round. The first right. two rounds could have been a toss up. In the mm-hmm. last two rounds, I thought Triple G won because Danny Jacobs had a lot of holding in the eleventh round, and the twelfth round was a lot of free a lot of free swinging. But I thought the Triple G round, probably won that round. No, the twelfth so, round Jacobs actually landed the more punches. Yeah. He landed more punches. He wasn't running. He actually. He made Triple G miss so many times, I'm surprised he didn't throw his shoulder out. Maybe. You got a vision problem, and I'm not a judge. So, it is what it is. One of the they need a now. blind judge because the ones with sight can't do nothing. I heard that before, too. So, we'll go to Clarissa Shields to wrap this segment up. She is the ultimate alpha female. I don't think we're really arguing about that. No. She had a clear knockout victory for her second what was um, a TKO? It was a TKO. Right. All right. Well, the girl just couldn't. Do yeah, anything. she couldn't do anything. I mean, that. her face split with that last hook. Yeah, that was beautiful. I mean, she didn't look good coming in the ring anyway, but you know, she looked even worse leaving. Yeah. When the ref, when the announcers say, "Oh boy, she looks soft," they weren't lying. Yeah. They looked like she just got off the couch drinking a beer and got in the ring. Yeah, she pulverized it, but she was yeah. there. She 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 earned a check. She was there to go the distance or to at least make Clarissa work. And uh, that's what she did. I mean, Clarissa, it was easy work for Clarissa, but she couldn't physically put on her butt. So the referee had to stop it, and, and a referee. Oh, she know, was going. He did the right thing. He stopped it for her own safety. So right. no complaints there. Well, we'll be right back with his favorite segment, Punch Counter Punch, right here on the Fighter Share Report. 